This week, I'm conflicted. I want to show you how incredible Asturias is, but one thing that makes it incredible is that the world by and large hasn't discovered it yet. And I don't know if I want to be part of changing that. So this is my video to tell you not to come to Asturias. To begin with, the eye candy photos and videos that you've been seeing from here, don't believe them. They've been doctored up, Photoshop, special filters. Don't be so naive. It's not really this vibrant and beautiful. Plus, these lush green mountains that lead to emerald colored ocean, they're always getting in the way and blocking your view. You're always having to huff and puff up to the top of them just to get around. And when you do get up there, it's most likely to be windy and cold. And you'd think that all the lovely green vegetation would be nice, but it comes at a price, my friend. It rains here, like all the time. The trails are muddy, and the groceries, they're so cheap that you end up eating way too much food. Very unhealthy for the figure. The bread here can be wielded as dangerous weapons, and they sneakily put addictive substances in their charcuterie and their candy, which makes you crave them forthnightly. These crafty, crafty people. And here, kids and families are welcome in bars, which means that people are shunned if they get drunk. What an impingement on personal freedom. The ocean here can sneak up and splash you without warning. There's mosquitoes. And in the end, there's just way too much to see, do, and eat here. So it leaves you exhausted every day. So did I convince you not to come to Asturias? No? Well, I can't say I didn't try. Shifting topics, we went to another cathedral. This time to one outside of Asturias and neighboring Leon. And I know what you're saying. Oh boy, another European cathedral. Boring. Well, look again, bucko. Do you know what these places are for? These places are to connect heaven and earth, to remind you that there's a hierarchy of higher things and lower things. And cathedrals always want you to look up to the higher things. Believe it or not, I find there's always something new to learn in the cosmos of meaning that have been crafted in cathedrals. Another thing we're trying to think about and learn about during our months in Europe is the Divine Feminine. Having birthed eight children, Sarah really liked this Virgen Maria. It's not often that you see a pregnant Mary depicted. And this is what it looks like when there's only one small bathroom in the entire cathedral that everybody needs to wait to use when they gotta go real bad. And that's it for the week. So I send you off with a few smiles from the little one this photo that Thomas was really proud about, and this masterpiece that I discovered on my wife's phone. Always nice having kids around. See you next time.